Hello, I'm Buddhima Premaratna. And I'm Ravini Premaratna. And today we thought of talking to you about one of the textbooks we used for our first bar exam. And later, Dr. Vasitha Abbe Surya, Senior Lecturer of the Department of Anatomy, Faculty of Medicine, University of Kalania, would also speak a few words reviewing the book. We hope you will find it useful. So we all know that, as students, we are very keen on getting our hands on the textbooks we are expected to use during at least the first two years, even before we enter the medical school. As anatomy is one of the first core subjects we learn, and as it also contributes greatly to decide our expertise as a doctor, anatomy textbooks, of course, take much priority. Since anatomy can only be learned and not taught, it is of vital importance that we find a textbook that is not only compatible with our learning habits, but also is a standard exam-oriented book which would guide us on our journey of learning anatomy during the next two years. So we are encouraged to read at least one of the recommended anatomy textbooks while referring to an atlas of human anatomy along the way. Here, in the Faculty of Medicine Ragama, for anatomy, students frequently use The Last Anatomy, B.D. Chaurasya's Human Anatomy, Gray's Anatomy for Students, and Ellis's Clinical Anatomy for Medical Students. B.D. Chaurasya's Human Anatomy is one of the most commonly used anatomy textbooks, which has been loved by millions of students of medicine, dentistry and many other streams alike worldwide since its first publication back in 1979. Dr. Bhagwandin Chaurasya, the author, was an anatomist, a researcher and an outstanding teacher. So he was a lecturer at the anatomy department of Mahatma Gandhi Memorial Medical College and he was also a reader of anatomy at Gajara Raja Medical College, Gwalior since 1968. So he was elected a fellow of National Academy of Medical Science, India in 1982. He has many publications to his name, both research papers in Indian and also in international journals and textbooks and his most accredited work is the textbook Human Anatomy. So since its first publication, Chaurasya has been reprinted many times due to its large demand with successive editions making many improvements. Its 8th edition was published in the year 2020. Chaurasya's 7th edition is an attractive paperback textbook that comes in four volumes of excellent quality uncoated smooth finish paper. The simplicity of the language and the abundant illustrations that are scattered throughout the book were what we found to be the most admirable qualities. The language used in the books makes it understandable to students at all levels of proficiency of English language. The simple 2D diagrams drawn next to the text that adds to the comprehensibility of the book, paper models that helps the student understand the anatomical orientation of rather tricky organs, wallpapers on various important topics, and the fun mnemonics given make the book extremely student-friendly. Presence of surface marking anatomy, small quantities of embryology and histology in addition to the gross anatomy has succeeded in making the book wholesome. Moreover, the books give access to online videos of cadaveric dissections, osteology and soft parts and frequently asked questions in anatomy with their answers via its CBSI central app. The clinical boxes which are given throughout the chapters inform the student of the importance of what they learn. It sparks their interest in the subject and initiates their clinical orientation in the preclinical years. So the content is explained in point form throughout and this makes anatomy more digestible. The use of multiple flowcharts and tables summarizing the content aids the student in preparing for exams. There are also practice MCQs and SCQ questions and spots, which can be attempted to see if the student had grasped the content. Because of these reasons, we believe that Chaurasya is a great textbook that you can rely on. 
but at a first glance reading through the books could seem like a daunting task due to their sheer number of pages as compared to the smaller concise last anatomy the struggle to finish up the sections before termly continuous assessments was a challenge that had to be taken up as the text is descriptive it could also be difficult for an inexperienced student to prioritize the most important facts they need to give their attention to during their preclinical years as opposed to the minute details of human anatomy that might come in handy in the later years of their medical journey at the same time as chaurasya is a regional textbook and faculty of medicine ragama approaches the human anatomy systemically the student might need to refer to multiple volumes to cover a single module nevertheless we love chaurasya's ability to paint vivid pictures in our head which stuck with us and aided in facing exams months later its ability to explain human anatomy in simple words and help us remember a subject which would usually require a lot of hardcore memorization was remarkable because of these reasons we personally feel that the drawbacks that were mentioned earlier are only minor trials and they can be easily overlooked while chaurasya holds your hand while you explore the mysteries of human anatomy and now dr vasitha abesurya will give his perspective uh, good morning uh, first of all we would i would like to thank uh, professor rohan sirivardhan professor in surgery department of surgery faculty of medicine ragama inviting me to review the anatomy textbook vidhi uh, chaurasya now uh, first of all i would like to say uh, one would argue that uh, uh, gross anatomy is almost same and there is hardly any change therefore whatever the book uh, describes the gross anatomy may be the same so therefore there is no such thing as the book of choice uh, but of course i will uh, in my go- when i am going through my review i will uh, illustrate the pros and cons of uh, chaurasya the anatomy textbook in relationship to the other standard so called western textbooks then uh, it is up to the listeners or the assessors to assess the uh, uh, the the better choice of book for the students if you take the uh, uh, bd chaurasya's anatomy uh, in seventh edition not as in the past there are four editions uh, edition first volume is upper limb and thorax second volume is uh, lower limb abdomen and pelvis third volume is head and neck and the latest edition is the fourth volume it is brain and urethra uh first i would like to go through the pros of the good points about the chaurasya four volumes it is a book of attraction for mainly the south asian students especially the indians and the sri lankans and some of the bhutanese but as i have seen most of the west hardly if, if at all hardly anybody in the west use uh, use as this book so the first thing the students love this book is because of simplicity of the english in the book and most of the knowledge or the information is delivered in point form therefore even though there are sentencing and paragraphing proper sent long sentence articulation and paragraphing is minimum in chaurasya uh, almost all the time the illustrations are two di- two two, di- two dimension and uh, therefore it is pretty obvious that students find it easy to read fast to read and uh, within the shorter time one can finish off the book so these are the main points or the better points why this 
series of book is very common or widely used among our students however we have seen while teaching uh, when uh, students who use standard textbook so called why we say the standard anatomy te- textbooks the term comes because most of the exams and post graduate exams these standard textbooks are accepted references rather than the chaurasia so first of all i would like to give some examples of standard textbooks gray anatomy grace student version anatomy last anatomy snell anatomy then uh, uh, ellis clinical anatomy are the commonly one used now in common these standard textbooks have long sentencing long paragraphing somewhat higher order english fluency and accuracy compared to the chaurasia so these are the main three points where students are reluctant to go through these books now therefore the uh, students tend to read the lecture notes plus the chaurasia so in short term quick finish seems user friendly and the acquisition of knowledge is good for short term in chaurasia but in long term it is since it was a basically a point memorization long term knowledge or memory of a particular gross anatomy structure is less that is our experience when somebody uses chaurasia only so even though one would find it it's difficult when a student uses these uh, standard textbooks initially though it is difficult with the time the student will find it is easier and enjoyable to read these standard textbooks comparative to the chaurasia and also the knowledge is higher and the long term memory and understanding of particular gross anatomical structure is more now one would argue to a point what is the meaning of that the knowledge is higher than comparatively uh, using chaurasia to that of a western textbook now the main drawback of chaurasia is giving information in point form actually all of the books they describe in a paragraph in sentence the comparative relationships of a particular regional anatomy better than chaurasia so that is the main drawback of chaurasia so people would love to read points short term they okay but long term there is no gain of it and saying the fluency of english is more and the long sentencing and uh, comprehensive paragraphing is are uh, the difficulties is not an excuse for students i think in as an future as a future investment students should try their level best to start with the standard textbooks of anatomy rather than going through the chaurasia because that will improve their knowledge improve their english and they will be prepared for the future of any reading so other thing when uh, when we have seen people who use the standard textbooks mental pictures and the three dimensional view of particular gross anatomy anatomical region is much better than the people who use this chaurasia why is that again the same principle applied better description of comparative relationships of a particular region is well described as it is seen in a live or gross dissection in standard western chess books rather than chaurasia 
therefore my final conclusion is if a student find it difficult in reading a standard textbook as i always say first go through the lecture notes and at least try to go through the uh, clinical anatomy by ellis now they didn't try to read a standard textbook as i mentioned previously in my point of view i am not a person who says to completely discard the chaurasya chaurasya is a good book for summarization for revision if you find it anything difficult in understanding just to come back to chaurasya and see whether it is eased up there so therefore my final advice for the students any student who starts studying anatomy for the very first time start with the standard textbook keep the chaurasya as a support but don't keep the chaurasya as a main stakeholder and keep the other books as a uh, support so i would recommend any student to start with the standard textbook with the help of the lecture notes and keep the chaurasya as a summary book but please do not use chaurasya as your walking stick in your initial days and it is investment for today and it will be investment for future thank you very much